Hey guys, welcome to another lunch overview. Today I'm going to try this gluten-free to gluten-free pocket sandwich. This is the bacon and eggs with uh, cheddar cheese. They're whole grain bread or whole grain uh, gluten-free like a tortilla kind of thing. Um, high in protein and fiber. Uh, let's see what else it says. Made with uncured bacon and ancient grains including omega-3s, uh, good source of calcium, processed in a 100% dedicated gluten-free facility. Keep frozen. The 300 calories per the pocket. It reminds me of a hot pocket is what it kind of looks like. Um, there's the other information for you. Sodium is awfully high for this small thing. You can do this in a conventional oven if you wanted to. Of course, we're not going to do that. We're going to do the microwave. It says a discard packaging and keep and place frozen pocket on a microwave safe plate. A microwave for one and a half minutes or until... Um, Filling is fully heated. I'll probably do it a full one and a half minutes. Um, that's it. Okay. So, this is it. Looks like a, um, an apple turnover or something. Uh, that's it. I'm going to wrap it up in um, a little piece of parchment paper just because uh, it tends to keep the moisture a little bit better. But I'm going to keep that on that plate, put it in the microwave, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, right, here it is out of the microwave. I just cut it in half so I can show you the inside. Um, looks like lots of bacon and eggs in there. So um, it's a little chewy on top. It's a little tough. I'm assuming if you did it in the micro, I mean in the oven, it would probably be a little crisper. But it's a little chewy. But, but we'll see. I'm gonna cut this up into smaller pieces for me to eat, and I'll be back. Okay, it's had some time to cool off. So this is what I'm gonna take. It's uh, got a little bit of everything in there. So here we go. You can taste that bacon. Definitely has a bacony uh, flavor. The uh, by the way, we got these at Lucky's Market. They were two ninety nine. Not too bad for gluten free. I mean, if you need to eat gluten free, then then that's not too bad a price. It's actually pretty good. The eggs aren't really strong, and to have six hundred some milligrams of sodium in there, you really don't. They need some a little bit of. It tastes like they need salt, but I'm not going to add any. But um, it's not bad. Now that's the center section of the pocket. The outside sections, like this little curved part on the ends, they are very tough. Matter of fact, I have a an actual steak knife. Um, I had a hard time cutting the ends because they are so tough and chewy. They're pretty tough. They're um, they're edible. Definitely, you can definitely eat them. They're not so hard or dried up that you can't eat them, but they, they are a little tougher. If you have a plastic knife, you may have trouble um, cutting this. And some people make fun of me because I do cut mine up. It's easier for me to eat it. It cools off faster for this video if I cut it up. Normally, normally I would just cut them in half and then I would eat from there um, to let them cool off. Um, since I do videos, I have to cut them up so I won't be here all day long waiting for it to cool off. So anyway, um, this has, a, I, I like the, I like the egg, I like the bacon, it has a pretty good texture. The egg is a little mushy, but it's not too bad. It's like um, it's like soft scrambled eggs, that's what I would compare them to. The bacon has a pretty decent flavor. It's not like a really salty bacon, it's more of just a, um, a smoky bacon. But uh, but the flavors are pretty good. The only complaint I have is that the, the, the coating, the breading, or the, not the breading, but the bread has a little bit of a chewy consistency. But uh, if you put them in the oven, that may, uh, that may fix that. But I don't have an oven. Of course, I'm at home. I've got an oven here. But this channel is all about eating it like you would at work. And most workplaces don't have ovens. They have microwaves. So everything's done in the microwave. So, um, so yeah, beyond that, it's pretty good. I'm going to give it I'm gonna give it a three and a half. It's just because uh, in microwavable, it's got an okay flavor. It's not over the top. Like, wow, that's really good bacon and eggs. Um, and you really don't taste the cheese much at all. And the texture of that tortilla, so that, or the the bread, it's gonna bring it down to about a three and a half. I would go four if it had a little bit more flavor, but um, but I'll, I'll stick with a three and a half. So I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks for watching.